In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use adjustment layers in Final Cut Pro. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. Now, if you're new here, consider subscribing if you're into Final Cut Pro because we have a ton of tutorials all about Final Cut and filmmaking. Now, in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how you can use adjustment layers in Final Cut. And if you can't find it within Final Cut, where you can download one. So let's jump into it. Okay, so we are now in the Mac. I've got the SL600 voiceover microphone ready to go. Now, if you're new to adjustment layers or Final Cut, let me quickly explain to you what an adjustment layer is, and then I'll show you how you can get one free of charge, and then a little bit more of a deep dive into what you can do with it. So essentially, if you have edited video before, you'll know that you'll, you might have, say, 10 clips, 100 clips, and you'll go through and you'll color correct each clip to get it looking exactly right. Now, there is an easier way of doing this using a, an adjustment layer. So here is the EK adjustment layer. I'm gonna drag this down quickly on top of this clip of the model here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a color adjustment to the adjustment layer rather than the clip of the model. So let me just show you that here. I'm gonna um, adjust maybe the color of the midtones, just make it really kind of green looking just so it's really obvious when I show you how this works. Um, so as you can see, the clip is normal. I haven't affected the clip. As soon as we get to that adjustment layer, it gets green. So it affects everything below that adjustment layer. And why this is a good thing to use is, let's say you've color corrected this clip of the um, drone shot of the city. What you can do is you can simply drag this adjustment layer all the way over both clips, and you'll see that it affects both clips the same way. So this means you get a very uniform look when you're editing your video and it's a great way to um, really get a final output looking really fantastic. Now, an issue here is that you don't actually get an adjustment layer included with Final Cut Pro. So I've created one for you free of charge. You can get it from editorskeys.com or check out the link in the description to go directly to that. And uh, just before I sort of deep dive into how you can use this, let me show you um, how you install that. So essentially you will down download the adjustment layers um, and then you'll have a zipped folder. Simply unzip it so you're left with a, a regular looking folder here. And that what we want to do is go to movies on your Mac sidebar. It's also uh, in your Mac's main library. Then you want to go to motion templates and then you want to go to titles and then drag that folder into here. Now, if you don't have those folders, you should have, but if you don't have them for any reason, follow the little text instruction manual in there and it will show you how to add those folders super easy. So once you've added those to Final Cut, uh, make sure you close and quit and restart Final Cut. And then when you open up Final Cut, it will be in one of two positions. So if you go to the top here, um, you'll have your project settings there. You come over to the title setting and under titles, you may now have either a folder here called EK Adjustment Layers or Adjustment Layers EK. In my case, it's in the custom folder here because this is where I've set uh, new ones to go. And then you can see we've got our EK Adjustment Layer and an EK Crop Adjustment. So let's go through both of them and I'll explain why you've got two adjustment layers when normally you may just see one. So of course, as I showed you in the first example, you can do some really nice color corrections. Uh, you can add multiple color adjustment layers as well. So if you want to do one for for your, for your sort of fixes and one for maybe a LUT, you can do that. So again, if I just maybe drag up the exposure here, it's a bit too bright. Let's really pull down the exposure of the blacks. You know, I'm really kind of destroying this image. It looks okay already, but I'm just doing this so you can see. Uh, let's, uh, let's really take down the saturation. Let's make it really desaturated. And you can see kind of a before and after there. And again, we're gonna drag this over. As mentioned, you can add multiple effects of color here. Um, you can even add other effects and final cut onto this adjustment layer as well. And as you can see, I'm gonna play it from the start here where there is no adjustment layer. And as we go onto the adjustment layer, you can see it's now showing that. So it's really good if you maybe wanna add a LUT and you just don't wanna destroy all of the footage below it. Or you know, if you're not sure you've added it or not, I've, I've done it before where I've color corrected each and every clip of the project. And then when I've got to export it and upload it to YouTube, I've noticed that I missed one clip out in the middle. This will prevent you from doing that. And the second adjustment layer, 
is the EK crop adjustment layer. Now, the reason I've added this in here is because it's something I've been using a lot myself. And even if you use an adjustment layer, you may not have thought about using it for this reason. Let's just say um, this girl was talking to camera, a bit like what I'm doing right now or you're doing for your YouTube channel. What you might currently be doing is chopping the clip up a little bit here and then doing a sort of a gentle zoom in. So let's just do that. I'm gonna, gonna scale in here. Let's just position this down. Just so that you almost get kind of two camera angles. Let's play that through. So you can see it zooms in there and then zooms back out. It's quite common. You'll see this on YouTube a lot. But the problem with this, it's quite time consuming. You have to go through, you have to chop the clips, you have to uh, scale in and out. And, um, you know, as I say, it's quite time consuming. Let's just undo that position change. And let's just show you how you can use this adjustment layer. So again, EK crop adjustment. Plonk that in there. Let's add your scale to this adjustment layer. So make sure that's selected. We're gonna scale in. We are gonna move her down like so. And then all I'm gonna do is copy and paste this. So let's copy, let's paste, let's paste. Let's make this one shorter. Now, if we play that through, you can see it crops in, it'll crop back out, crop in again. And uh, you can see that one, I've made that a little bit shorter. And that's just a super simple way of editing your YouTube videos much, much faster. So you can add your color corrections and you can add your camera movements. So there we go, I hope that's helped you use adjustment layers. And you can see there the power of using adjustment layers within Final Cut Pro. If you've got any questions at all, make sure you leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.